Alec, how's it going? Oh, it's going. It's going. We just wrapped well. up an awards ceremony. Oof, we man. did. We just man, did so a, many uh, photo ops. What a crazy, what a crazy after party. The we freaking just had. press was hounding us. Oh my gosh! We, it was just like the paparazzi were just nuts. We just had to to, to claw them off, basically. So, some people say they're still in the audience holding their phones up to this. <laughs> they probably are. <laughs> they were uh, very dedicated. Yes. So today, uh, you know, it was like we we thought the Star Wars series was over, but this is going to be our nice little wrap up. And maybe if this goes well, we can do it in a future series as well. It's a nice little tying the bow on this whole series. So it'll be a moment for us to reflect briefly and also uh, get ourselves some definitive rankings by the numbers, in fact. And by the numbers, we mean these uh, rankings are completely based on our Tarkron scores. Yes. So is, even though we can disagree, we might disagree with our scores in retrospect, we cannot change them. The only thing we can do is break ties. I kind of like this idea of like, at first, I was thinking in the new year we should have a new review score, but I kind of like the idea of having a out of 10 so we can break these ties and stuff. Yeah. And once yeah, we make this score, it's set in stone, and we can look back in three years and be like, oh, what a stupid score that was. Man, what a chump I was. <laughs> <laughs> I hated The Last Jedi. What uh, gives? Yeah, I, I love that movie now. <laughs> That's never going to happen, It's my by top the way. 10 movie. <laughs> so do you want to go through your list first? Uh, yeah, yeah, do I, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna yes. reveal it to you, so it'll be epic. Yes, we can I have we them can already that. listed by score. Uh, okay. We'll go from the bottom up, and then every okay. time we reach a tie, you're gonna have to break it on the spot. Okay, okay. Okay, so, coming in at 12th, or 11th place for okay. Star Wars movies is Attack of the Clones at a 4.5 for you. Sounds that about sounds right. About, yeah, it sounds about right. Yep. <laughs> now we have a tie already. Oh wow! Okay. For tenth place between, it's a five for Rogue One and The Phantom Menace. <sighs> okay. Um, <laughs> crazy talk. I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be wild. I'm gonna be crazy. Uh, I think I like The Phantom Menace more than I like Rogue One. You're wild in. I am wild. I'm crazy. Okay, so Rogue One is 10th. The Phantom Menace is 9th. Now we have another tie. Oh, wow. Six... I got a lot of ties. <laughs> the 6 out of 10. We have Solo and The Last Jedi. Oof. Oh, man. That's actually a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Um, I like Solo more than I like The Last Jedi, I think. Okay. As a whole, I don't think I don't think Solo is great, but I think I enjoy it more as a as an as an experience to watch it. So, eighth is the Last Jedi, seventh is Solo, and then sixth is Revenge of the Sith with a seven. Okay. Fifth, we're in their top five. Your top five now. Number five is the Rise of Skywalker with an eight. Okay. Number four is Return of the Jedi with 8.5. And for this next spot, we have a tie between The Force Awakens and A New Hope. Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Force Awakens just under A New Hope. Okay. So Force Awakens is your number three. A New Hope, number two, both with nines, and then Empire Strikes Back with a perfect ten. Yeah, that's. I think I'm gonna stick by that. That's a. That's a pretty good. That's a good ranking, you think? Good ranking. Turned yeah, out pretty I think accurate. So. All right, let's go into mine. At number eleven, we have Attack of the Clones with <laughs> a five out of ten. Number ten, I have Solo with a six. Okay. So that puts it uh, three spots under yours. Interesting. Number number nine. Okay, it's a tie. Between The Last Jedi and The Phantom Menace. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I would say that The Last Jedi, Jedi is definitely better than The Phantom Menace. <laughs> okay. okay. So that puts us the same with those two spots, actually. Yeah, I mean, I, I would agree with you there. Number seven is Rogue One with a 7.5. That puts mine through. Oh, we just swapped our solos and Rogue Ones. Okay. Three spots fair. apart. That's fair, honestly. 
And then I have, a, I have a tie for the next one between Return of the Jedi and Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> mm, interesting. Yeah. Uh, that is interesting. <laughs> the ending capping of the two trilogies there. Yeah. Um, I would say the Return of the Jedi is better. Okay. I'm pretty confident in that. I really like Revenge of the Sith, mm-hmm. but I think Return of the Jedi is the better movie. That, that puts Return of the Jedi at number five for me. Okay. My top five. You're in your top five is okay. Now I have another another tie between The Rise of Skywalker and A New Hope, both at eight point five. That's that's pretty sweet. It's pretty mm. rad. If I were to watch, pick one to watch that I would just enjoy watching, it would be The Rise of Skywalker easily. I would much rather watch it, but I think A New Hope is better. You know. Let's go with your guy, Zach. I'll say that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rise of Skywalker, number four. A New Hope at number three. Then The Force Awakens at number two with nine. And Empire Strikes Back, number one, with 9.5. Very cool. Very okay. cool. So that's interesting. Yeah, we're, we're not too far off, really. Yeah. We just have some slipped here and there. The biggest disparity we have is the between Solo between... and Rogue One. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fair, at like, because I think we both we both get different things out of both movies, mm-hmm. or don't get the or don't get something that the other person gets out of the movie. So, <clears throat> um, so let's just look at the top five for each of us. I have okay. Empire Strikes Back, The Force Awakens, A New Hope, Rise of Skywalker, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. You have Empire Strikes Back, A New Hope, Force Awakens. Return of the Jedi, Rise of Skywalker. So it's the same top five, it's the same five. rearranged yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So because well, I, I think we can both agree that that those five movies are like are like the peak, like Star Wars at its best, kind of. Yeah. And I think that so it's interesting. Yeah, you know, we have the whole original trilogy in the top three. Yeah. And then uh, sequel yeah, films too. Yeah, the sequel <laughs> films. None of none of the prequels though. Revenge of the Sith is number six for me. So. Yeah. End for you, okay. So it was just out of the yeah. range. It's the best. It's the easily the best of the prequels. It's easy to say that. Um, mm-hmm. I like watching it. So. <clears throat> so based on uh, our Tarkaron scores, our definitive Tarkaron list is The Empire Strikes Back number one with a nine point seventy five. Yes. The Force Awakens number two with a nine. A New Hope, number three, with an 8.75. A tie uh, for fourth and fifth for Return of the Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker at 8.25. Revenge of the Sith at sixth with 7.5. And then a tie for eighth and ninth between Rogue One and The Last Jedi, 6.25. Oh, that was yeah, eighth and ninth. And then Solo is at 10 or 9. Shoot. Solo is 9 <laughs> with a 6. And then the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, 5.75, 4.75. Sounds about right. So the average between all of your scores is a yeah. 7.1 out of all okay. Star Wars movies. The average of mine is a 7.5. Okay. So I'm a bigger Star Wars fan, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> 0.4. It's kind of funny, yeah, how that is. Uh, I think uh, just in some instances I'm, I'm just more critical. Is that a good... Uh, that's a pretty good score for 11 movies. For 11 movies in a series? Um, geez, man. I think I, 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 I'm trying to think. Maybe someday we'll go through Harry Potter. I don't know if I'll necessarily, if my scores will be as low for somebody. Because there's very few of those movies that I think I would actually score low. Hmm. So yeah, there's maybe some a, of the, There's a huge disparity the in these movies, uh, like. Yeah, from the bottom to the top, you know, ten to four point five. And that's the thing is, but well, you also have to remember that 10, these five. movies were have been made over forty years, you know, whereas Harry Potter was all made in the span of like, ten years. Mm-hmm. So, um, all the same production and crew on most on most of the movies, changing directors, changing some staff, but having the same core actors for the most part, uh, and having the same relative production 
producers and everything really helped that franchise um, you know, stand the test yeah. of time. And something like Harry Potter is one where, like, I've seen every movie, but it's all kind of like it blends together for me. And it's kind of, it's been a long time since I watched them, so I would have no idea what my scores would end up, so it would be completely yeah. fresh for me. That'll be another one to, to look forward to. Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit series as well will be, I think will be interesting mm-hmm. too. I think that one's going to have some disparity as well. And then we want to uh, definitely like try to experiment with some other random series that we can get in there too. It would be cool. For sure. So, yeah, that's going to be us it for the Star Wars movies until years right for a movie yeah really so it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a while for the next movie we've got some other stuff to talk about mandalorian but uh maybe maybe we'll talk about like clone wars i don't know that's it's a little bit of an undertaking to get into that but, i know yeah i didn't realize uh, how many episodes there were until i looked at it like jesus it's it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> so um so uh yeah there's there's that um It'll be a while till we talk about much more than The Mandalorian, though. So Yeah, but I mean, there's Star yeah. Wars TV stuff on the horizon. Big time. I, I haven't played Star Wars That's Jedi tough. Fallen Order. I've heard good things. Me neither. Me neither. Maybe that's... <laughs> we have to play every Star Wars video game. That'll be the next yeah. series. Yeah, Knights, Knights of the Old Republic <laughs> will be the next, yeah. I have that. Jedi. I'll play that. Jedi Knight. All right, T- stay tuned so for next week. We'll talk about yeah. five Star Wars games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Thank you. 